Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Please like, share, and subscribe to my page. Anyway, y'all know how I like to start my videos. Father God, I thank you for a peaceful night's sleep. I thank you for your precious son, Jesus, that died on the cross so we can be forgiven of our sins. I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you for life, health, and strength. I thank you for food and drink, for, the, for providing us with food and drink for the body. I thank you for keeping us in our right frame of mind. I thank you for picking us up when we fall down. I thank you for pulling us from darkness into the light. Father God, I thank you for providing us with shelter. Father God, I ask you please to continue watching over us, especially watch over the children, Father God. They need you right now. There's so much going on in the world. Father God, I ask you to please watch over the children. Watch over them, cover and keep them like only you can. In your name, in your precious son, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all, oh my God, to be honest with you. My heart is heavy. And there's so much going on in the world. Until sometimes it's almost unbearable. But anyway, I had to do this video and it's things that I, I really want to say to my family and friends, but it ain't the time, it ain't the place because there's so much going on. But I just want to say this. Even if you don't like somebody or you don't know how to get along with somebody, y'all, we got to pray more for the children. We got to pray more for our children. We got to pray more for everybody else's children. Because we're in a really, really trying dark time. And the enemy really want to take. And take. And take. And take. But with that being said, I don't want to take that no further. I just want to um, share a little bit about the business that I'm starting. And I want to let y'all know that um, thank each and every one of y'all that um, subscribe to my page, that like my videos, and watch my content. Even if it ain't but a small amount of you, I'm very, very thankful. Trust and believe that. But um, I put myself out there a lot of times on my social media platform. And I made a lot of more than not private. But it's time that I make my business a little bit more private. So I'll be making me a new YouTube page, and it's going to be private. If you don't have a face in the face, to go along with your name, then you probably won't be able to get in YouTube. I'm going to make a TikTok for my business that's going to be private so I can know who's on my business page and I don't have to deal with the trolling. I don't have time to put energy into people trolling my page. I'm going to make another Facebook for my business. It's going to be private. I'm going to let people in if they really want to shop, but I'm going to keep it more private just so I can know the movement in my business. Um, I'm going to make social media platforms for all, 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 I'm making all my new social media platforms for my business private. I'm not making it private because I don't want people to be able to come and look at my stuff. I just want to know who's on my social media platform because I don't, I really, with so much going on in the world, I don't have time to keep going back and forth with people trolling the internet and harassing people and bullying people. It's too much going on in the world today that we want to spend a bunch of energy arguing back and forth with people that ain't even showing their faces. Some people that know you, some people might not, but some people that know you and they just want to come, they just, you know, I don't care about you coming just to look. I mean, we, when we put social media platforms up here, you know that people are going to come in and try to look and, and stuff. As long as you ain't bullying and all that, I'm okay with it. But um, it's some things that I got to make private unless God tell me not to make it private. I have um, my TikTok that's not private because I really wanted to be able to reach people and I thank everybody that's following me on TikTok and that um, interacts with me and like the content I make. It ain't always the best, but I thank you. I got some faithful followers over there on TikTok. I got some faithful followers on YouTube, um, on my Instagram, on my Facebook, but my business ain't nothing that I'm going to play with. I'm going to make it where I can know Who's moving in and out, back and forth out of my business. I already have my my website, y'all. But I, I wanted to add a little bit more before I got started. But anyway, I want to toot my own horn today. Because I, 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 I don't be 
doing it a lot of times like I need to, but I really want to prepare myself and be and be ready. And now that I have my LLC and I have my um stuff coming along good and this website is moving along good, slow but show slowly, sh slowly but surely, I can share some things with y'all. Anyway, y'all, um, I decided. I first of all, let me tell you a little bit about my business. When I started this healing process, I really, really, really wanted to dig deep. I really had to be by myself more, and I still do have to pray more, and I really ask God for guidance. And I want to be clear with y'all. It's not these items that's protecting you. It's your faith in God. It's God in Jesus and your ancestors. What I mean by that is your guardian angels that's really protecting you. I pray and I pray and I pray over everything that I make. I pray over it, that it bring healing to people, that it bring happiness to them. Whatever they're looking for in this lifetime, I put God in it. That's the key element in the items that I make. A lot of people can make them. Y'all, it's enough money in this world that anybody can do this. But I really want to put love, God, love, healing in my stuff. The reason why come I even started, I didn't know I had a crafting bone in my body, but the reason why come I started doing this is because I got tired of going through all this depression, being in a dark place, and feel like I had no way out. So I really had to pray and pray and pray. Was it easy? No, it was not. In that process, I lost my dad, my grandma, my son. I like to lost my oldest son. So I really, really thank you, God, for letting me really, really find myself even through my grief. I'm not going to say it's easy, y'all. I'm, I'm hurting right now. I'm grieving right now. We got to put my aunt to rest tomorrow. And it's something else that happened in the family. I don't want to get into all that because that's touchy. That's other people's situation. And I don't want to do it because I know I don't want no doubt to do it to me. But my heart is heavy. And it's heavy for the people that's around me because there's so much going on in the world. There's so much darkness. And I decided to start making these items. The first thing I started making was these bracelets. The first bracelets that I started making was these healing bracelets. These were the first bracelets that I started making. And I'm going to be selling my healing bracelets for $21. But it turned out for me making healing bracelets to get into other crucifixes that I knew balance people out balance people out because I was dealing with depression and I was seeing the therapist and stuff. I just started seeing the people around me and like it was it, it, I could just feel the energy. They was just in such a dark place. I knew that I was but I can feel the energy when I went into the doctor's offices of the dark places these people was in. So I just decided to take it deeper. So I started looking at um the crystals to help balance things out and it just went so deep the charms. I even I'm I'm decide add I'm adding I'm adding necklaces in my business. Y'all, this is going to be um, $41. This is a special stone. This is one I made for myself, but um, I decided to add this to my business. And it's for a lot of people that been through a lot of things that where they was heartbroken. It's a stone to help with heartbreak and things that's going on. When you got a lot of heaviness in your chest, and God knows I got a lot of heaviness in mine, so I decided to put mine on today. I, I um been working on these, but like I said, my um necklaces, and I have different ones. I have crosses and everything, but it's they're gonna be forty one dollars. Some of them, but I'll tell y'all the prices. But anyway, this is just a few. I showed them before, but I'm gonna show them again. These are just a few of the bracelets that I've been working on. I got closets full, y'all. Like I said. I pray over them. I put essential oils needed to go on them. And these are just a few of the braces that I've been making. Like I said, my start was with the healing braces. A lot of these were my healing braces is. And these have special stones on them, y'all. And I'm, I'm sorry. I don't control where they turn or whether they fade or the, the, um, the stuff come off of them. But I try to buy pretty decent quality stuff. Stay in Hobby Lobby and Michaels to... Um, make these with but anyway these are just a few of my healing bracelets my um protection bracelets evil eye bracelets these are just a few of the um items that I've been working on but I also have been working on um body and room mist because I have been having a problem sleeping so some of the things that I know that we have problem with daily I have been working on some of these these are going to be um twenty dollars at any you buy one if you buy one for twenty dollars. If you purchase more than one, one for twenty dollars, and, and anything after that is fifteen with that order. Twenty for one, and um, 
you buy two, if you buy two or three, if you purchase one for twenty dollars, then with that with one order, I'll sell the other ones for fifteen dollars a piece. Y'all need some good oils. This anyway, this is gonna be for relaxation. It's got some good stuff in there to help you really relax to sleep. If you've been having a hard time sleeping, trust me, it works. Because I was messing with these last night and I couldn't even keep my eyes open. Then I have a triple protection one. I just use some of the tri some of the oils that are used for protection. Triple protection. It's gonna be on the money. Like I said, it's gonna be on the money. And I made a healing mist. I made a healing mist because I've been dealing with a lot of chronic pain. So I decided to make a healing mist. I got more coming, but like I said, y'all start working on these oils last night. And because of all the essential oil I put in them, I was praying. I got so sleepy. I got so sleepy. But these are going to be some good healing body and room mist. Going to be good body and room mist. And with all the things that's going on in the world today, I had to make this video. Because I'm like, I'm sleeping on myself. It's time for me to start showing some of my product. It's time for me to start um, investing in myself. It's time for me to start pushing my business. Even though I'm still putting stuff on my website. The Lord said, it's time to move, daughter. It's time to move now because I can do it on my social media platform. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to make a new YouTube. It's going to be more private. As long as you get, you're a real person and have a real face, and I know you always no problem with you getting in, I'm going to make another TikTok. It's going to be private. Another Facebook for my business. It's going to be private. An Instagram for my business, and it's going to be private. And I'm not doing it to keep people from seeing what I have going on, but I'm doing it to keep myself protected from trolls because I don't want to put a whole bunch of energy in going back and forth arguing with people that's disguising themselves and they just want to be wicked. I don't have time to give no energy to none of that anymore. I'm not perfect. None of us are. I'm trying to heal. Y'all, healing takes a lifetime. I don't want to pour all my energy into going back and forth with nobody when I'm trying to handle business. Y'all, I, 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 I really love people, even the ones that may not love me. I really do. And I really hope that my product touches people, help them. I hope that they can feel the, the God I put in my product and the love I put in my product. I even have soaps. Y'all, I'm going to be making candles. I'm going to have merchandise. I'm going to have clothes. It's going to take, take, I'm taking things one day at a time, but I'm going to have earrings. I have anklets. I have earrings. I already have them made. Y'all, I've been had this a long time ago and it ain't me biting nobody, copying nobody, but I had this a long time ago and um, I ain't taking away from nobody's shine because I've been seeing people creating some beautiful things. Y'all, if you have a gift, use it. If you have, if it's a million people doing the same thing you're doing, oh well, it's enough um, money in the world for everybody to be able to be successful. Your product is not the same as another person's product. You make it your way and you trust God and you put, well, I put God in mind. Anybody might not choose to, but I choose to put God in mind. And, um, I really wanted to be able to really, 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 really help others, but it's not the product. Y'all, it's God. And his precious son, Jesus. I promise you, it's God and his precious son, Jesus. Items ain't nothing without God. Soaps ain't nothing without God. Sprays ain't nothing without God. Incense ain't nothing without God. If you don't have God in it, it's already ruined in my book. That's just my opinion. It's already ruined from the, from the start. I got faith. Even, I know this right here, it ain't going to be the people closest to me that's going to make me make me successful or make my business successful is God. But I'm making my products with intentions. I'm making my products not just to be greedy because I want to be the richest woman in the world. I'm making because I really, really, really pray that y'all find y'all way to the healing that you deserve. You deserve to heal those little wounded childs, little wounded kids that's on the inside of you. You deserve that. You deserve better. I deserve it. Because I say it all the time, and I still find myself going back to the old Stephanie a lot of times. You know, I'm not her no more. She's still in here. I still got triggers. I still I still go through pain. I still suffer just like everybody else. I'm going through grief right now. I'm right now, I'm grieving, and my heart feels so heavy. But I had 
to give myself a little um shout out. Because a lot of times I shout out others. Now it's time that I sh shout me out a little bit. I'm sitting on this stuff and I done had it for a long time. Now I had that bracelet so long. They get to turn y'all. I'm going to tell you the truth. The little clasp and the little charms, they will turn. Um, and they don't last forever. They will break. I got to be honest with y'all. And um, ain't really nothing I can do about it. But I just hope that whoever purchased from me, from Nubian Queen's, Fashion and goods. I just hope that you're healed with the product. I hope that you can feel the God and the love. And the time that I take and took to put into these products. I even, I'm making even waste, making the waste beads, y'all. A little of this and a little of that. But anyway, I just had to toot my own horn a little bit today. I pray that y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Until next time, love, peace, and light.